Okay, for this video I'm going to show you how to use the georeferencing function in Quantum GIS um, and uh, give uh, just a quick intro to how the, the tool runs. Um, I'll start with this uh, uh, roads layer that I have and uh, I have a raster image that um, matches this roads layer and I'm going to pull that in and uh, uh, make some uh, reference points um, and then uh, show you how to use the their georeferencer. So um, we'll just open this up here and um, we'll pull in the uh, raster image. And then uh, you just set the uh, coordinate system for your raster. Press OK. And so then you pull the uh, the, the raster just opens up in this new window. And um, so I'm going to set some control points in this raster image. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to define it and and georeference it. So. Um, you go to this button here called um, Set Georeferencing Points, basically add referencing points. And we'll just go to some corners of this map where I know that the roads connect. Like right there, for instance. And then, so you click on the map, and then, um, then you go and you click from the map canvas, which um, basically opens up that same window uh, that has the roads layer here. And on that same area where I clicked on the on the raster image, I'm going to click also on this roads layer here, and then press OK. And so that pulls that point um, uh, from the roads layer and puts it onto this raster image. So then I'll zoom around to some other areas like that, such as this one here, and then go back to the map, and zoom in on that spot, and click there as well and press OK, and it pulls that one in too. Yeah. And so then we'll pull in a couple of more, just one more, how about, and then uh, then we'll make this, we'll make it so. Uh, click this part here, and go back to the map, and zoom in on that that corner there, and then press OK, and that one's pulled in too. And so then we'll go to this wrench here, and this gives, basically gives us kind of like the some of the, the settings we want to set for this raster when we georeference it, um, such as the different t transformation type. Um, if I had more control points, I would want to do a different type of transformation. Um, there's also some other fine scale things you can do. Um, Always set your uh, set your coordinate system if it wasn't already set, um, and then um, we're gonna do the output here. I'll just change this. And uh, then press OK. And then when I'm ready, I'll push this run button. It just starts the georeferencing process. And then once that finishes, um, then it gets automatically loaded into the uh, onto the map. So I'll close this out. Uh, 
and let's pull our roads layer up and let's zoom to the roads layer let's see how well this worked seems to work pretty well all right so yeah the roads layer is now linked up with the uh, raster image and it makes it much easier to be able to see uh, what's going on there um, and so yeah that's and the great thing about this is you can also pull that same image into arc map so I'll just delete it from here and then if we go over to ArcGIS and pull that up um, with the same image it just uh, gets pulled into the map So, um, so if you don't really like using the georeferencing tool in ArcGIS, um, the Quantum GIS re georeferencing tool gives you some quick and easy functions for um, creating a georeference for your for your raster image. And so there you go.